friends, uh, Shweta from Maths Baron again. Today, uh, I'll be explaining certain specific uh, techniques uh, which you can apply for doing a faster uh, calculation. Okay, and one of this uh, one of this technique which uh, which is very uh, you know uh, simple is a square of number ending with five. Okay, so this is what I have done in the board. You can see. So all of you know that five square is twenty five. Now what is a square? You are multiplying the number twice. So basically, five square actually means five into five. Okay. So five square is twenty five. Now, what happens when you have numbers ending with five and you need to find a square? Suppose we are taking thirty five square. I have taken an example here. So if you see that five square of five is twenty five. So in 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 Vedic maths specifically, you always divide the method into two parts, left and right. Now five square is twenty five. We are placing here. What is remaining is three. So three has to be multiplied with the next number, next natural number. So three is multiplied with four, and you get twelve. Okay. So one two two five. So this is the answer. One two two five. Okay. Now uh, I have taken few more examples so that it is easy for you to understand. So 85 square I have done here. Again same thing here. First you place the square of 25, which is 25 here. Now what is remaining here is 8. 8 you are multiplying with the next natural number, which is 9. So you get so 25 you keep it here, okay? And 8 into 9 is 72. You put it here. So 7225. So this method is true for any number ending with five. Only thing which you have to take care of is whatever is the remaining number. So I have taken here as a specific three-digit number. Now one twenty-five square. Okay. So if you see here, five square is twenty-five. So what is remaining here? That you have to think about it. That is twelve. So twelve has to be multiplied with thirteen here. So this is. If you multiply twelve with thirteen, it is one fifty-six. So definitely, it's a it's a little bigger multiplication. But uh, in the first method, I've told you vertically and crosswise, which you can do to multiply these two numbers. So one fifty-six twenty-five. So basically, fifteen thousand six hundred twenty-five is the answer. Similarly, you can do for any number ending with five. Let's take another example of a three-digit number. And the number ends with five. And how do I find the square of a three-digit number which ends with five? Okay. So what I have done here is the method which I am teaching right now: square of number ending with five. And vertically and crosswise, we both need to combine to find the square of this number. So here I have taken seven twenty-five. Okay. And we need to find the square of seven twenty-five. So what you have to do is. I told you, right? Square of number ending with five. We all know five square is twenty-five. So you have put it here. One part of the answer. Now what is remaining here? Seventy-two. So seventy-two has to be multiplied with the next number, which is seventy-three. Now how do I do it? This again, you can do it with vertically and crosswise, which I have already taught in my first video. If you see, so seventy-two and seventy-three. How do I do this? So these are the three steps. Which we you use to multiply this two number, so two and three that is the first step. So it results into six. Now second step is crosswise. That's why it's called crosswise. Okay, so seven is multiplied with three, which is twenty one, and seven is multiplied with two, which is fourteen. Now twenty one and fourteen adds to thirty five. Okay. Now what is step three? Step three is multiplying the first two digits. The tenth place. So seven seven zero is forty nine. Now how do I add this? So first you have already got six here. You multiply this. Uh, second step you got thirty five. So five you are keeping it here and three you are carrying over to the next place value. And what is the last step? Last step is the multiplication of the tens digit, which is seven seven zero is forty nine. Now when you add this, you get five two five six. So So answer of seventy two into seventy three is five two five six, 
and 20, and already we have got this one part. So this is the answer. Five two five six two five is the square of seven twenty five. Okay. So this method, if you practice it, see the thing is, it becomes very easy. It's less time consuming, and second thing is, it's very easy to remember. Okay. So if you have any doubts or any questions, leave a comment in my YouTube channel, and also uh, go to my website maxband.com, and you can download a free worksheet which you can do. for practicing the question so subscribe to my channel max baron on youtube and keep watching this space for more interesting videos every week concentrating on a mathematical concept as well as tricks thank you so much